Did you know how powerful the first sip of breast milk is? It's just this tiny bit. What good is it? There are bacteria. Stomach acid will melt them away. The concentration is just right. It kills germs without harming the stomach. Follow me to the intestine. These aren't bad bacteria. They're the good bacteria in breast milk. They travel through the stomach to set up home in the baby's intestines. So this is also good bacteria? No, let me see. The milk contains antibodies passed from the mother to the baby. That can identify bad things that invade the baby's body. Recognizing them is useless. The baby's white blood cells are still very weak. They can't beat them. Breast milk also contains white blood cells from the mother and a magical little tool. A magnet. This is lactoferrin. They can grab the iron in the bacteria's body, which helps boost the baby's immune system. There's nothing else this time, right? Nope. Breast milk contains carotene, various vitamins, and lactose. It tastes so sweet. But why do I feel a little stomach ache? Breastfeeding also has a gentle laxative effect, which helps the baby pass meconium. Diaper Dad, hurry up and get the diapers ready. One last fact. A newborn's poop is usually an olive green color, and it doesn't smell. I'm the Garden of Knowledge. Subscribe to learn more interesting facts. Immersive bedtime routine. Grandma is sleeping. You think putting a kid to sleep is like this. Okay. Cheese wants to watch TV again and won't go to bed. Let's see how I handle this. Turn off the TV now. It's past bedtime, Mom. <laughs> Mom, I'm going to the bathroom. Oh, my God. I finally found Cheese. I knew it. He must want to play with soap bubbles in the bathroom to delay bedtime. <laughs> I'm going to get him. Mom, what did you get? I'm so dead. He clearly hates brushing his teeth the most. Mom, I'm done brushing my teeth. I'm going to bed first. Remember to come tell me a story. I'm not wrong. He's definitely going to play with toys in bed and play hide and seek this time. <laughs> You're busted. Mom, your back has been hurting lately, right? I made you a pillow and I made you some milk. This way you won't have insomnia or dark circles. I'm so touched. Cheese, you're the best. Putting a kid to sleep is so happy. Real life bedtime routine. Cheese, go to bed. No, I want to watch TV. Go to the bathroom with me now. No, I hate brushing my teeth the most. You're not coming out until you're done brushing your teeth. Fine. Oh, no. The bubble machine is still in there. How am I going to get through this? Go to bed. Mom, do I look like a princess? Get in bed and go to sleep. He's my own son. Don't get angry. Don't get angry. A list of everyday things that might contain lead. Oh, no. My pencil poked my hand. Will I get lead poisoning? There's no lead in the core of a pencil. There's no lead in the pencil lead. It's made of graphite. You won't get lead poisoning. Uh. Then turn your butt around so I can check. The outside coating is different. A paint on cheap pencils. Or toys can contain lead. Don't put them in your mouth. Then, no more playing with pencils. Don't buy makeup. Oh, my lipstick. You have to buy authentic lipstick. Some unethical sellers to make their cosmetics more vibrant. Will add heavy metals once they get into the baby's skin. Hey, what's this? It's not harmful, is it? I'm iron. I'm good for the body. Lead ions and iron ions look just like twin brothers. Iron ions can be metabolized by the body, while lead ions are very hard to excrete. Once they accumulate more and more, it can cause dizziness and headaches in severe cases. I'll destroy everything here! What? Who are you guys? Why are you taking over my territory? This is our territory! The absorption of iron and lead have a competitive relationship. Drinking plenty of milk and eating leafy greens rich in iron will definitely help the body reduce lead absorption. I'm the Garden of Knowledge. Become a member to help us produce new videos. If there were no food additives, all this delicious food... Mom, is this a world without additives? Because without stabilizers, the bread is hard as a rock. Next is the starch sausage forest. Crunchy and so fragrant. Looks like he thinks so too. Why can't we eat the starch sausages? Because without preservatives, the starch sausages would quickly be infested with petulinum, turning into a germ nest. How much longer do we have to go? The last place is Ice Cream Mountain, but... I'd rather starve to death than eat anything here. But without stabilizers and emulsifiers, the ice cream would melt with a single touch, causing an avalanche. Ah! Can't eat this, can't touch that. I'll just make it myself. Oil too. Mom's cooking is the best. <laughs> Assassin. Cooking oil at home, if it doesn't have antioxidants, will easily go rancid and spoil, emitting a terrible stench. So using safe and appropriate amounts of additives will make our lives better. I am Garden of Knowledge. Follow me for more fun facts. Where do all the farts you hold and go? 
There are a lot of bad bacteria here. These are the good bacteria in the large intestine. They help us break down leftover food. And the gas produced during that breakdown is a fart. Rose, whoever wants to do this job, go ahead. Didn't get the open door command. See, those are the farts that were held in. Still trying to escape? Most of the farts stay in the intestines, waiting for the next chance to get out. Why does this intestine smell so bad? You're the smelliest one here. Only a few heroes among the farts can find a new way to get out. Quick, follow them. Why aren't we there yet? This is a blood vessel. If you were to stretch out all the blood vessels in a person's body, they could circle the earth ten and a half times. Where? Shh. Don't let them find out. What are you looking at? This is the heart. It's the transportation hub for all blood. Sending it to every corner of the body. Ball pit. This is so much fun. This is the lungs, the organ responsible for breathing. These balls are the alveoli in the lungs. They keep the oxygen and release the waste gas. Mom, I'm being sucked in. A fart is waste gas. The alveoli absorb them, and they are expelled when you exhale. Dad, I don't want to be with the fart. Don't worry. Gases other than oxygen will be expelled soon. Liver, eating. On Garden of Knowledge, follow us to learn more fun facts. Shaving the Lanugo, does it really make hair grow thicker? Before a baby is even born, Lanugo plays a very important protective role in the womb. Together with the vernix caseosa, they protect the baby's scalp from being damaged by prolonged exposure to amniotic fluid. Lanugo covers the baby's skin, while vernix caseosa is a waxy substance. Together, they form a protective barrier. This barrier can prevent the baby's skin from absorbing too much water and also prevents bacterial infections. They even act as a lubricant during delivery. They will naturally fall off shortly after the baby is born without any need for our intervention. But isn't it true that if you shave the lanugo, the hair will grow better? There is no scientific basis for this. The number of hair follicles we have is determined at birth. Shaving the lanugo doesn't make hair grow thicker. What's more, for babies under three years old, the hair follicles haven't fully developed yet. If we shave their heads at this time, it's very easy to scrape the scalp, causing permanent damage to the hair follicles. So parents, there's no need to rush to shave your baby's lanugo. It's their first protective layer in this world. A gift from mom. Have you ever shaved your child's lanugo? Share your thoughts in the comments. Did you know? Vanilla flavored ice cream actually comes from a beaver's rear end. There are glands in a beaver's rear that produce a pungent, yellow secretion. Whenever a beaver marks its territory, they secrete this liquid. The smell is extremely foul to animals. But to humans, it has a deadly attraction. Wow, this smells so good. Let's call it castorium. In 17th century Europe, castorium was highly sought after and loved by the aristocracy. It was used to make vanilla ice cream and various high-end perfumes. Its price at one point even surpassed gold. But during the Tsarist era, castorium became an exclusive royal product, and beavers were turned into tools for producing vanilla flavor. My descendants will never have a good life again. As for the vanilla ice cream we eat now, it's made from vanilla beans or synthetic vanillin. No castorium is added. Furthermore, vanilla beans have a calming effect and can improve our sleep quality. Eating a moderate amount of ice cream can also lift your spirits, but don't overdo it. On the Garden of Knowledge, Follow us for more interesting facts.